The Penobscot Theatre Company in Bangor is facing financial struggles and it's looking to the community for some help now. New Center Maine's Katie Delaney shows us how they are adapting and working to stay in business. Since coming out of the pandemic, um, American theater has been in crisis due to low ticket sales, low subscription numbers, and we're no different. The Penobscot Theater Company is facing a $200,000 deficit this season. Leaders say they've cut the budget for their latest show by $17,000. Facing these financial challenges, they're finding creative ways to adapt, like using recycled materials for the set. The entire design team really rallied around, right, how can we use the resources that we have to make a strong impact. And these issues are not only affecting the Penobscot Theater Company, but the arts and culture in Bangor as a whole. Downtown Bangor Partnership Executive Director Betsy Lundy says her organization is working to secure a grant for the city to promote the arts in Bangor. So the goal is really to market this location as a place for people who enjoy those things to come and then to just push them out into the organizations individually. So there's a kind of a real individual component. The Penobscot Theater is looking towards the community to help them continue for seasons to come by seeing the shows and donating. I'm a true believer in the art of theater and the power of that. I just believe that if we can get people through the door, they'll be reminded of that. And that's going to be an experience that they're going to want to hang on to and continue with. We all tend towards looking for connection, and I think that's what will pull us out of this situation. The theater's latest show, Mr. Burns, a post-electric play, runs through May 5th. In Bangor, Katie Delaney, New Center, Maine.